We are back with another edition of Math with Miss Ray. Today is episode 11, or episode 11, ha, huh? lesson 30. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, today's lesson 30. <laughs> Today we're going to solve math stories with drawings relating addition and subtraction. Now, in our last lesson, if you notice, our last lesson was 25, and now we're on 30. Hmm, don't worry. I'm going to be skipping a little around a whole lot, but I'm doing it on purpose, okay? So bear with me. But yesterday's lesson, we did an addition sentence and a subtraction sentence. Today, we're going to use that to help us solve some stories again, and we're going to do some drawings this time to help us. So with that being said, if you don't have a whiteboard and a marker or a piece of paper and a pencil to write and draw with, you need to have something with you. Because when we work with Miss Curry today, we are going to do a lot of writing. So make sure you have that and you're ready to go. Before we can do any of that, though, we have to get our brains warmed up and we have to do our application problem where we become detectives. So let's get our brains warmed up first. You're going to go to the classroom and you are, oh, hold on. Is it not warm? No, it is. I just forgot this is us. Next slide. Okay, so you're going to go to Google Classroom. Find my, whoops, wrong way. Find my friend Dash. And we're going to do a number bond dash to 10 today. Okay, set your timer, two minutes. You can do it. If you're really feeling confident, you can set your timer for one minute and 30 seconds and see how fast you can do this because these are, these are 10. We should be able to do these. We can do them really fast, okay? So practice that one. Pause my video. Come back in a minute, ready to become detective so we can do our application problem, okay? Pause in here. Go do your fluency, come back, let's do application problem. Okay, you should be done with your fluency. So now it is time to become detectives. I'm Detective Ray. We have a new case to solve. This one is really long. Lots of different things it's asking us to do. So let's get through it first. Make sure we know everything it wants us to do before we start looking for clues. So let's read. Freddy has 10 action figures in his pocket. Five of them are good guys. How many of his action figures are bad guys? Box the solution in your number sentence and include a statement to answer the question. Make a math drawing. Circle the part that is good guys to show you have the correct number of bad guys. That's a lot. It's asking us to do a whole, whole lot. So let's make sure we know what it's asking us before we begin, okay? So I'm gonna get my marker and I'm gonna start underlining things. So let's look at what it's asking us. First thing, box the solution in your number sentence. So we know we're gonna have to have a number sentence. So let's go ahead and make a number sentence here. All right, you know what? How are we gonna do this? We haven't decided if we need to do addition or subtraction. Remember yesterday we started some subtraction. So that may not be addition. We'll have to look and see. We also have to box our solution, okay? So we don't know what our solution is yet, so we can't draw a box. It might be a part, it might be the total. We don't know. Include a statement to answer the question. Remember, your statement is the sentence explaining our answer. We can't write that out yet because we don't have any information for us to write out, okay? So we can't do that yet. Make a math drawing. We can do that in a minute because we'll have to go back and look. So let's write our circle underline math drawing because we know we have to do that. We also have to write a statement, so that's something we're going to have to do. Circle the part that is good guys to show you have the correct number of bad guys. So we're going to circle the part that is the good guys, okay? So we're gonna have to box one and circle one. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff it's asking us to do. Okay, so let's look for our clues so we can start checking those off that we've done them, okay? So let's go. Freddy has 10 action figures in his pocket. How many action figures does he have? 10, that's important. 
I'm going to draw 10. One, two, actually I'm going to get a new marker because this one's hard to see. Try that again. Let's do 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's our ten action figures. I'm going to just put AF. Action figures. Okay. Five of them are good guys. I'm going to use a blue marker and I'm going to color in how many? Five. Okay, because those are my good guys. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so these are good guys. Good guys. All right. How many of his action figures are bad guys? Hmm, we don't know that yet. Okay, but I think we can use what we have right now and we can solve some things. So, how many action figures did he have in all? He had 10, so I'm gonna put a 10 in my total, okay? How many of our action figures were good guys? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them were good guys, so I'm gonna put five. And I can put a plus sign here. Now, remember, it told me to box the solution in my number sentence. Our solution, because it says how many of his action figures are bad guys. So this is going to be my solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and box it, okay? So out of my 10, I colored five blue for good guys. How many left to show bad guys? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I have five that are bad guys. I'm gonna put a five right here. Now, let's go back and see if we have checked off any of the things that we can check off. Did we box the solution in our number sentence? Yes, yes we did. Okay, so that one's done. Um, did we include a statement? Not yet, we're gonna do that last. Did we make a math drawing? I've got a math drawing right here. So we can mark that one. Yep, we did that one. Did we circle the part that is the good guys? Not yet, so let's do that. I can do this two different ways. I can circle here, or I can circle here. Okay, so now I've circled my part. Now, remember we can, we can show a subtraction problem to help us out. We can say 10 action figures that we had in our pocket minus the five good guys we had gave us how many bad guys? We said five. So here's our good guys, here's our bad guys. So you could do addition or subtraction for that one, okay? Now, all we have left to do is write a statement. Remember, a statement answers the question, how many of his action figures are bad guys? We can write five action figures are bad guys. Now I put a period because it's a statement and a statement is a full sentence. The action figures are bad guys, okay? So now, let's double check. Did we box the solution? Yep. Did we make a number sentence or statement? Yep. Did we make a math drawing? Yep. Did we circle the good guys to show we had the correct number of bad guys? Yep, we did. So we have answered everything it's asked us to do and we have worked out everything it's asked us to do. So that means we are all done and we have solved the case. We now know that Freddy has 10 bad guy action figures in his pocket. So make sure you clean off that whiteboard or get a new blank piece of paper because we're going to do our lesson with Miss Curry and we will need to be writing some stuff. Okay guys, I'm gonna pause to get our video ready and get me set up.
All right, friends, let us get Miss Curry set up. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Make sure you have your whiteboards ready to go. And let's see what we got today. Hello students, my name is Mrs. Curry, and today we are going to solve take apart math problems. How many markers do I have? Count them up. I see five. I have five markers. I'm going to put more markers in the pile, but I don't want you to watch. So close your eyes. No peeking, I'll tell you when to open. Okay, open your eyes. How many markers are there now? Count them. I see How seven. How many markers are there? There are seven markers. Let's make a number bond to find out how many markers I added to the pile. If you have a number bond template, excellent, you can use that. If not, they're really simple to make. You can draw what I have here on my template, or you could draw them with circles, like this. Take a moment to draw a number bond now. Okay, let's get started. Let's write what we already know. There were five markers in the pile to begin with. Five markers, the total or the parts? It's just a part. Five markers was a part. It was the amount that I started with. So I'm going to put five here and label that markers. When you opened your eyes, you saw that there were seven markers. Is seven the total or another part? If we added some more and we had seven all together, that's our total. That's right. Seven is the total because that was all of the markers we had after I added more to the pile. So let's write seven in the spot where the total goes. And I'm going to label this total. Make sure your number bond looks like my number bond, including the labels. And this is our unknown part. This is our mystery number. Mm, so let's question. label this with a question mark. And what part of the story is our question mark? That's a part. This is the number of markers I added to the pile when your eyes were closed. So I will label this more markers. I'm just going to write more. Make sure your number bond looks like my number bond. Turn and tell a partner what you would do to figure out how many markers I added to the pile when you weren't looking. If you don't have a partner to talk to, say it out loud to me. Okay, now we've used lots of strategies, so what is a way we could do this? Could we count on? or subtract. On your whiteboard, write the number sentence. In your number sentence, the mystery number or our unknown part blank. You can show that it's blank by just putting a box in that space. Go ahead. You could say five plus the more when markers. I say show me, show me your number sentence. Seven. Ready? Show me. Let's see how some of our friends solved it. I counted on like this. Five, six, seven. I added two more. I said five plus what equals seven and knew it was two. Great strategy. Give me a thumbs up if you used addition. That's what I did. You could also say this is Jada. 
Let's see how Jada solved it. Our leader is seven markers total. I took away five markers that we already had. I got two markers. Seven minus five equals two. Nice work, Jada. Jada used subtraction. Give me a thumbs up if you use subtraction also. Got that one on here too. Did our friends get the same answer? Even though Issa used an addition number sentence and Jada used a subtraction number sentence? Yes, they did. Got two yes. here and two here. Let's draw a picture number bond to show the story. Draw circles in a row to represent our total seven markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you do it in a row. Don't draw them too big. Then group those seven together to show that that is our total. Make your picture number bond look like mine so far. Right. What do you think we're going to draw next? Hmm. We're going to draw the two parts. Let's start with the part that we know. There were five markers in the pile to begin with. So let's draw five circles in a row. One, two, three, four, five. Markers. And we'll be sure to group those together and label them markers. If you need extra time to make your picture number bond look like my picture number bond, push pause now. The next thing we need to do is connect this part to our total. Then let's draw a box for our other part and connect it to our total. What is this mystery number or the unknown part? How many more markers there were? This is the number of markers I added to the table. So let's label this more markers. Last, we will draw in the number of markers that I added to the pile when you weren't looking. We saw how Issa solved it. Watch Mrs. Curry. We know that there were five to begin with, and we ended up with seven. So I'm going to count on like Issa did. Five, six, seven. I added two markers to the pile. Let's draw those now. What do you notice about our number bond and our picture number bond? I noticed that they look very similar. They both look like number bonds, but one has numbers and one has pictures. They are the same. In our number bond, we have the number seven. In our picture number bond, we have a picture of seven circles. In our number bond, we have the number five for the part of the markers we started with. In our picture number bond, we have a picture of five circles to represent the number of markers we started with. In our number bond, we have a question mark for our unknown part. In our picture number bond, we solved for the unknown part and we drew in those two markers that I added to the table. Excellent observation. Let's do another one. Jada is collecting stickers. Raise your hand if you love stickers. Maybe. How many stickers does Jada have so far? Count them up. 
six. Her teacher gives her some more. How many does she have now? Let's put them together. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine. Jada has nine stickers now. Draw a number bond to show the total and two parts. Remember to put a question mark where our mystery number goes. That's the number we're trying to figure out, which is how many stickers the teacher gave Jada. Push pause now so you have some time to work. All right, so I'm gonna- Welcome oh, back. Uh oh, I hit number. the wrong button. Sorry guys. Let's, uh, let's go back a little here. Okay, so remember, we're gonna look and fill in our number bond with what information we already have. So Jada had six stickers that she already had. So we can put six and we'll put stickers. Okay. Her teacher gave her some more. We don't know how many more yet. So we're gonna put a question mark and I'm gonna put the word more. And then she had nine stickers in all. So nine is our total. Okay, so right now you should have six in one of your parts, nine in your whole, and a question mark in your other part. And to show the total and two parts. Remember to put a question mark where our mystery number goes. That's the number we're trying to figure out, which is how many stickers the teacher gave Jada. Push pause now so you have some time to work. Welcome back. Does your number bond look like my number bond? Did you remember to label? We did. Look, here are the six stickers that Jada had to begin with. Here are the nine stickers Jada had total after her teacher gave her more stickers. And here is our mystery number or our unknown. This is what we're trying to figure out. How many more stickers did Jada's teacher give her? Now let's draw a picture number bond to show the story. We'll start with the total of nine stickers. Okay, so let's draw, let's with draw nine circles nine. in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, make sure you're making them small and they're all in a straight line, okay? We're gonna group them up. And label it total. Do you remember what to do next? Let's group those nine together. This is our total. And just to make sure I didn't make a marvelous mistake, I'm going to go back and count and make sure that there are really nine circles here. You do do the same. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Double nine. check that you drew nine as well. I have nine. Do you have nine? Next, we'll draw circles in a row to show part of the total that Jada had to begin with. She started with six stickers. So let's draw six circles two, in a row. Three, four, five, six. Let's group those six together. And let's add stickers. We're going to connect it with one of these arms up to the total. And then we'll draw another box for our unknown, which is how many stickers Jada's teacher gave her. I will label this more stickers. Then I just need to connect this with an arm back to the total. 
to show that these two, when put together, make the total. Make sure your picture number bond looks like mine so far. Okay, what is the last thing we need to do to finish our picture number bond? We need to draw the unknown number. That's right, we need to draw the missing part. Let's hear how Jada found the missing part. I know. Says, uh, uh, plus something equals nine. I count from six to nine like this. Six, seven, eight, nine. It took three counts to get to nine. So three is the number of stickers Jada's teacher gave her. So Jada figured out from counting on that her teacher added three stickers to her collection. Give me a thumbs up if you solved it the same way as Jada. Let's look at another way you might have thought of this. Some of you might have thought about using subtraction. If there were nine total stickers, You can take away the part you already know, which is that she started with six stickers. Hold on, one, two, three, four, that five, helps six. you see really easily that one part is six and the other part is three. So nine minus six equals three and three would be the mystery number. Is it okay that we solved it differently? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Jada used addition to find the missing part and I just showed using subtraction to find the missing part. That's the great thing about flexible thinking is that we can approach these problems in different ways and still get the same answer. I think you are ready for the problem set. Your must-do problems are one, two, and four. Do your best thinking for 10 minutes. As you're working through the problems, remember to use words like part and whole when describing your thinking to a grown-up or your teacher. When you were super flexible today, when you thought about solving these problems using both addition and subtraction, I think you ought to kiss your brain because it is amazing and so are you. See you real soon. Bye. Bye, Miss Curry. All right, let me stop sharing my screen here. Okay, so let's talk about our problem set today. As, as you saw, you're gonna have to do three of these and there's a lot to it. Let's zoom out here and look at my board. Turn my board back on. Okay, now, just like any good detective, we have to look for all the things that we need to solve in order to close the case. So, when we are doing our problem set, we read the directions, so what we need to solve to answer the problem. So, read the directions first. Solve the math stories. Okay, we can do that. Complete and label. Label the number bond and the picture number bond, lightly shade in the solution. Don't shade in the solution, this time I want you to circle it, okay? So I'm gonna cross out lightly shade, and I'm gonna put circle. Because we're gonna circle our solution, okay? Now, if you want to label with just a letter to help you, that's fine, because I know it's kind of hard to write on Cami, and we'll show you both ways, okay? So let's look at number one. Jill was given a total of five flowers for her birthday. She put three in one vase and the rest in another vase. How many flowers did she put in the other vase? Okay, so first thing we need to do, let's label. This is my total because there's one, two, three, four, five. 
total of five flowers, okay? She put three in one vase. I'm gonna label it O, V for one vase. She put the rest in another vase. I'm gonna say A, V for another vase, okay? Now, this already has my picture in it ready to go. So I'm ready to fill in my number bond with what I do know. What was my total? One, two, three, four, five. That's my total, I'm gonna put a T. One vase, another vase. How many were in one vase? One, two, three. Now we have to figure out how many are in the other vase. Now I can do this by counting on with my addition sentence, or I can subtract in my subtraction sentence. So let's count on from three all the way up to five. Three, so I got three, four, five. How many did I do? Two more. So let's put two here and here. Let's see if we're right. If we have the five, and I say here's one, two, three that I took away, how many did I have left? I had two. Two. So how many am I gonna draw in my picture? I'm gonna draw just two. So one, two. Okay, so now did I do everything it wanted me to do? Hmm, did we circle our solution? Not yet. So now we can come over here and circle our two. Okay, now I've done everything. Let's check. Did I complete and label the number bond in the picture number bond? Labeled, completed, labeled, completed, check. Did I light or did I circle the solution? I did check. So that one is completely done. I'm ready to move on to the next one. Okay, so let's look. All right, let's look at number two. Uh, actually, let's look at number three. No, sorry, number four. Yeah, let's look at number four. Okay. Oh. All right, sorry guys, my, my computer froze up there for a minute. All right, let's look at number four, okay? We're going to, you know what? I probably need to go back one more because the directions were on the last one. Oh, hold on. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. All right. Let's look at our directions for three and four. It says solve, complete and label the number bond and the picture number bond. Circle the unknown number, okay? That one's a little different. Now, look, there's no picture. We have to draw the picture number bond, okay? So let's read, find our clues. Bill has two trucks. His friend James comes over with some more. Together they have six trucks. How many trucks did James bring over? All right, well, let's look at what we know. We know that Bill has two trucks. His friend James came up with some more. And together, they have six trucks. What does that together mean? Together means your total. Total, this one's gonna be Bill. This one's gonna be James. How many trucks did Bill have? He had two. How many did James have? Some more. Together they had six trucks. Now let's draw our picture. Together we're gonna draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna group them up and I'm gonna label them total. We knew that Bill had two trucks. I group those up, connect it, I'm gonna label it B for Bill. We don't know how many James had yet, 
So we can leave that one blank for right now, okay? Now, what can we do to solve this? Well, let's put in what we do know into our number sentences, see if it'll help us. We already have the six as our total, but we still need to put our two and our three. So two, whoops, let's try that again. Two and some more. Okay. We already have our six for our subtraction, and then we're going to put our two equals something. So now we have to figure out what that something is. Okay, so we can either count on from two to six and say two, three, four, five, six, and we have four. Or we could subtract and say, here's six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and take two of those, I'm gonna color two in. How many did I not color in? One, two, three, four. So we can come over here and say four. Bill had how many trucks? Bill had, or I'm sorry, not Bill, but James had four trucks. Okay, let's see, did we solve everything? Did I complete and label the number bond and the number picture bond? Well, here's my completed number bond, it's all labeled. Here is my completed number picture bond, it is labeled. I went back and put my mystery number in. Did we circle the unknown? Ooh, we didn't do that one yet. This was our unknown, okay? So I went back and did that. Now, have I solved everything? I have my number bond picture, my number bond, my number sentences are filled out and my mystery or unknown was circled. I filled out my statement yet. James brought over four trucks. Now I have everything solved, I'm ready to move on to the next one. Now, today you are doing numbers one, two, and four. I did not go over number two with you, but you should be able to do this. I did number one and four with you all. So you should have everything I had on my board, okay? When you are done with one, two, and four on your problem set, go back and do your exit ticket. Complete the whole exit ticket, okay? <laughs> Turn it together, and then you will be completely done, okay? So when you're using your or solving for your mystery number when you're using a number bond in a picture, use those addition sentences, use those subtraction sentences. Those can help you solve for that mystery, okay? Whichever one works for you. You know the information, you just have to decide, am I gonna add and count on, or am I gonna subtract and find my mystery, okay? So, go finish your exit ticket, do your problem set one, two, and four, and I will see you guys the next lesson. Okay.